Welcome everyone. Today I'm gonna show you how to create a bootable USB for Windows 7. Um, if you don't have any DVD or CD from Windows 7 and you would like to reinstall your Windows or you would like to repair your Windows, you probably need something to boot with. Uh, that's a possibility how you can boot in the Windows 7 installation menu with a USB stick. So what you will need that's a USB a minimum 4 gigabytes and then uh, a small program that calls Demon Tools Ultra you can uh, easily download it from Google and you just type download Demon Tools Ultra and you will get it uh, you can download a demo version a demo version um, it's uh, probably enough to do what we need for and the last thing you need it's uh, ISO file from the original Windows 7 CD and you can get it on this link or downstairs in the description I already downloaded everything I need for and installed my program that's my Demon Tools Ultra and that's the ISO image from the Windows 7 CD so after installing the Demon Tools you just click on the ISO file and you will uh, get a virtual CD-ROM with a CD from Windows 7 inside that means um, you see here I have my my um, CD room and as well I click here I've got automatically a second one with a CD inside and that's the auto start from the CD he just can close it and close this also so let's start with our creation of a USB you plug in your USB in the USB port and you got this auto run window you just close it you go on your start and you type CMD and then you push the control shift and enter in the same moment and type yes then you've got this window from your CMD running in administration mode so um, here you just write disk part and enter then you see here that you entered in the disk part and you write list disk and enter and then you see all the disks or all the hard disks uh, that are connected to your to your windows to your PC actually so um, you should be sure that you have just one USB connected and uh, you should know uh, how much gigabytes your um, hard disk have if you don't know how to understand so uh, actually you just go on the computer and you hold so you see 195 plus 100 to it's almost 300 gigabytes so uh, if you see here uh, the disk number 0 have almost 300 gigabytes it's mean it means that this is my hard disk and uh, my USB have almost 4 gigabytes so here we see it 3824 megabytes it means 3 gigabytes 824 megabytes so I'm pretty sure that this is my USB stick you should know it because you should choose now your disk 
that you would like to use so your USB actually that you would like to use so um, to me um, as you can see it's a disk one so I'm just gonna type select disk one so if to you it's a disk two or three or four you just change the number on the disk that you wish to use on the USB that you would like to use so then enter and uh, he gives you a confirmation that uh, disk number one uh, is being choose the next step you should do is to write clean clean and enter then you got again a confirmation that the disk is being cleaned and uh, then you write uh, create create partition partition primary and enter you should see uh, again a message from a confirmation that it was uh, successful uh, created um, then you select your partition one so you you just write select partition one so select partition one and then you type enter again and you receive again a confirmation that your partition one is being selected and uh, then you write activate so oh no i'm sorry active so active and enter and you receive like always a uh, confirmation that your partition has been activated the next step is uh, to format your USB so you write format uh, FS is uh, NTVS so that's actually the format of your USB and then you type enter and then you got this here it's actually uh, how much percent uh, your USB has been formatted so I need to wait until 100% and then you can continue with the next step now my uh, format it's on 100% uh, you need to wait a few seconds and then you've got uh, again a message that uh, it's been formatted um, now you just write a sign and uh, a sign and you type enter and you see that a small window in back opens is the automatically um, so you just turn it off and um, you type exit and enter and now you just close your window and you go to your computer to see which letter of uh, uh, 
which letter uh, you have on your virtual uh, uh, CD room so uh, that's the CD room that we made before with our ISO file uh, so you need to remember this letter that's the letter F uh, you will use it after and uh, also the letter of your uh, USB uh, which is here and that's the H letter so uh, just remember the two letters and uh, open uh, your CMD window again to uh, finish uh, our creation of the USB so you type uh, CMD and again control shift and enter and yes and then you are back again here and here you just type um, the letter of your uh, CD of your virtual CD so uh, you type F double point place CD place boot and enter and then you see that you entered in your virtual CD uh, the letter F stays so um, then you just write CD boot and enter and then you see again here that you entered in the boot of your CD and you just paste this sector to the um, letter of your uh, USB so you need to write um, boot sec point exe so boot sec point exe place slash nt60 place the letter of your USB so to me it is the H letter and then double point and then you type enter so then you got uh, a confirmation um, uh, okay so target volume will be uploaded boot da, da, da. and then boot code was uh, successful uh, successfully uh, update on all target volumes and this you should get if you don't get this message then something is wrong and just try again from the beginning so the letter of your CD double point place CD boot and then uh, CD boot again and then boot sect point exe slash nt60 place h double point and enter and then you should got this message so okay um, the next step is um, close uh, your CMD window and uh, you going to extract your ISO file uh, to your USB um, to extract the ISO file you need a program so um, you can use a different kind of programs I uh, use WinRAR uh, you can also use WinZip or uh, 7-Zip I think it calls so um, mm, how I said I use WinRAR if you don't have it you just type in the Google uh, download WinRAR and you will get a free version of it uh, which is very small program and very uh, fast to install um, after you install your WinRAR you close all windows from the installation and um, you come on your ISO uh, data and uh, you push the right button and then you say extract files and uh, you choose your USB 
and you just click OK and then you got this window here and it takes a lot of time so um, when it's finished then you actually created already USB port uh, your USB flash but um, I will come back to uh, show you um, how you can uh, test it after finishing of the extraction uh, the window uh, the small window will uh, close automatically and uh, now you can check you go to your computer and you just click the right button and uh, oh, I'm sorry uh, you just open it and uh, you let it on the side and then you go again to your computer and you click the right button to the virtual CD you type open and then you open it you put it to you change it to a list view um, so now if you can see uh, the virtual CD is have have exactly the same uh, files like in your USB um, I will just close it and uh, <coughs> you can boot your windows from your new USB so if you restart your computer and you go to your BIOS and you say that the first boot should be the USB he will boot from the USB and he will bring you to the Windows 7 installation menu thank you for watching